A Saxon Course 2, Lesson 72, is on implied ratios. So here we have, if 5 pencils cost $1.20, how much would 20 pencils cost? Use a ratio box to solve the problem. So first we're going to draw my ratio box. Okay. So we're going to think that since 12 pencils is a little more than 2 times 5 pencils, we're going to estimate that the cost is going to be a little bit more than two times a dollar twenty. Okay, so that's going to be about how much it is. So it's going to be about two fifty and three dollars total. So then we're going to use our ratio box. So we have our pencils, and then we have our dollars. How much it costs? Okay, so if I have the five pencils. Let's say I bought two cases. So case one, I have five pencils. And case two, I'm going to have 12 pencils. Okay, well, case one cost $1.20. And I don't know how much it'll cost for the 12 pencils. Now I can change this into a proportion. So I end up with 5 over 1.2 equals 12 over D. And we use cross products. So I end up with 5D equals 12 times 1.2. Okay. So I'm going to raise this so I have more room. So 12 times 1.2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. Cross off the 2, put a 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Add it together, 4, 4, 1, and I have one decimal place, one decimal place. So I end up with 5D equals 14.4. So again, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. The 5 over 5 cancels. So D equals the 14.4 divided by 5. So we're going to do that now, 14.4 divided by 5, decimal goes straight up, 5 goes into 14 twice, that's 10, subtract 4, bring down the 4, 5 goes into 44 8 times, that's 40, subtract 4, add a 0, bring it down, 5 goes into 40 8 times. So my answer is $2.88 will be the cost for 12 pencils. Okay, with this one, we have Mrs. Campbell can tie a 25 bows in 3 minutes. At that rate, how many bows can she tie in an hour? So, if I make my ratio box, I'm going to have bows, and I'm going to have minutes. So, for the first one, she can tie 25 bows in 3 minutes. So, then with the second case, I want to know how many bows she can tie in an hour. So I'm going to change an hour into 60 minutes so I have the same label. Okay. Now I do my ratio box. So I have 25 over 3 equals B over 60. We cross multiply and I end up with 3B equals 25 times 60. Divide both sides by 3. The 3's cancel. Okay, And then I can cancel on this side as well. So I can cancel the 3 and the 60. 3 becomes a 1. 60 becomes a 20. So I end up with 25 times 20, which is equal to 500 bows that she can tie in one hour. So this next one, 6 is to 5 as 9 is to 1 number. So again, draw my ratio box. Okay. So I still have case 1 and case 2. So my first number is 6 and my second number is 15. So 6 is to 15 as 9 is to what number? 
So create my ratio box, or sorry, my proportion, 16, 6 over 15 equals 9 over n. We're going to cross multiply, end up with 15 times 9 equals 6n. Divide both sides by 6. 6 is cancel. And then I end up with n equaling 22.5. So I'd multiply 15 times 9 and then divide that by 6. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.